Stonely 2022. Let's get started. Right then, this year, Stonely 2022, um, after the 2021 COVID one, everyone had big hopes for it was going to be bigger and better than previous the previous year. Um, it sort of let us down a little bit. Uh, the trade stands were thin on the ground. I spent more money on fuel getting home than I did at the actual show, which is never done that before. Nine years continuously, and uh, it was a little bit of a disappointment. The trade stands, some of the trade stands I wanted to see weren't there. The trade stands were thin on the ground, to say the least. So um, what I've done, I've done the usual format of photos, uh, like a slideshow. It's going to be 16 and a half minutes, so put the kettle on, grab yourself a coffee, and uh, see if you can see yourself or your mates. If you can, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, it helps the channel. I got an e email over the weekend while I was at Stonely that I'm up to 10,000 hours viewing now, which uh, I never thought I'd get that far. So uh, a big thank you to everyone that does watch this uh, watch this content I'll continue to do the same the slideshow is slightly um, slightly out of order this year because uh, my main camera went down on the first day so there might be a little bit of an overlap and things might be slightly out of uh, out of order anyway hope you enjoy on with the show I'm going to do a little chat afterwards at the end and I'll be interested in your thoughts on the future of the show and how it could go.
Right, hope you enjoyed all that. You're still with us, that's good. I'm really grateful if you are still with us. Um, Stonely Kit Car Show. It's, um, it's been going downhill uh, since the 70s and 80s. The beginning of that was probably the uh, SVA and then the IVA test that meant building a kit was out of reach of a lot of people. My opinion of it is it improved the quality of the design, the manufacturers had to up the game and it improved the quality and the safety of the builds that you're driving. If you're buying secondhand ready built cars, you know that they've passed a test and it's one hell of a test to get through. I got this one through four years ago. Um, it's like an MOT on steroids that lasts about five hours. So you know that the car you're buying is right so from a second hand buyer's point of view it gives confidence so that's obviously affected the show uh the numbers dropped off quite drastically after that uh in recent years the numbers have continued to design that uh, decline maybe it's uh the younger kids haven't got the skill set uh to build cars um Maybe it's cost prohibitive, maybe it's insurance, because you can't really get insurance on kit cars until you're 25 in the UK. So um, I'd be interested in your thoughts on why the show's in decline. Put them in the comments below. Um, also, anyone got any ideas on how the show could get more popular? Um, one I've seen banded around that I probably agree with is maybe if we... Um, if they started having maybe classic cars or uh, custom cars or American cars to come along and diversify, open open the, the market up to people that could be interested in building kits in the future. And uh, from people visiting the show, there'd be more interest, more things to see. One thing I have thought, if I see it a lot on the, on the forums, and if we as kit car old owners and builders don't support the show the show won't go on so i think we have a responsibility to turn up to these events and support these events um too many people are too um too keen to sit on the backside and criticize that the show isn't uh, show isn't doing well, show isn't up to much and I'm not going to come next year uh, or I'm not going this year 
yeah, we we need to keep going. We need to support these events. Uh, as we've seen over the the past decade, if you don't support them, they go, and you'll lose them, and you won't get them back. So I do think we need to continue to support these events, but possibly diversify a bit more. Anyway, your thoughts. That's enough. If you've made it this far, thanks a lot. Uh, please subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. It helps me channel. I might get paid for this one day. You never know. Another few hundred subscribers. I'll be in the money. Five a month or something. Okay then. See you next time. See you at Stonely 2023. Don't be late.